Hi, this is Nick Smith, Sloan Implement. Today I'm going to talk about what it takes to do infield data sharing on the Generation 4 Command Center or 4640 displays. There's a few things that you have to have to make sure this is compatible. For one, you have to have a premium 3.0 activation on your Command Center or on your 4640 display. The second thing you have to have is an active JDU Inc. subscription, which is now free, offered through John Deere. Um, so we'll have to make sure each machine has a 3G MTG in it or a 4G MTG. Uh, the next thing that you have to have, um, you have to have a globe on each machine uh, to, in order to pick up GPS signal. And then you also have to have each machine in your My John Deere account. So uh, for this demo here, uh, we have uh, two S790 combines set up um, and we're going to show you uh, what it looks like on the screen as far as uh, doing infield data sharing coverage. So now we'll uh, take our focus to the screen. So as you get to the screen here, um, you can see here I've got uh, a sharing icon down here at the bottom right. Um, so right now it shows that there's two people sharing. So that means that I am already linked up with this other combine. Now I'll walk you through the process of what it takes to get there. So if we go to our setup tab here, as you can see on here, uh, what we have to have is everything has to be compatible. So if we come to our location here, um, if we come in here to view all, what you can see is we have uh, our client as one, our farm as one, and our field as three. Now we have the same thing on the other combine sitting next to me. Um, also, we've got our crop type as corn. Um, and you want to have the same variety plugged in there as well. Um, for this demonstration, we just have dashes, but if you're harvesting um, in the field, you want to make sure that you have the same variety typed in the same way. Now there's a way that you can make this a little easier on yourself. If you come back in here to the setup button, you should be able to just come in here to your work list. Um, in here, it will show you any work list that is nearby you. As you can see, it shows that this one, one, and three is less than a half a mile away from me. So if I just got in this combine and I wasn't already on the right field or the right crop, I could go ahead and just click on this and hit next, and I could just go ahead and hit join group, and that would join in with that other combine sitting next to me. One thing you'll have to make sure on these screens is if we come in here to the menu button and we come over to our system tab, um, on this system tab you have a file manager. Now what we want to make sure is if we get this to load up here, if we come to our operation center, uh, one thing we want to make sure is this data sync button down here at the bottom, we want to make sure that that's green and it says syncing. Um, we also want to make sure that our automatically synced operation center is check marked as well as the receive work group data is check marked. That will allow the data to be shared between the two machines and also send into your My John Deere account um, in the way that it should be. Um, as you can see, our org name is dashed out. That's not uncommon to see, um, so that's not something we're really worried about because we have these two machines in the same account. So now on the screen here, if I click on my map, what you can see is I've got my combine sitting in front of me and I also have a little black dot sitting to the left of me. That's the other combine that I'm sharing coverage with. Now as he starts to harvest, which I'll show you here in a little bit, you will see his his uh, uh, data showing up on my screen. It will show up as a light blue coverage map. Um, now, that means that that's his machine harvesting. So whenever I start to harvest, mine will actually show up as a dark blue. Now you can also uh, change this on here to moisture. You can change it to dry yield. You can change it to anything you want to see. So it doesn't necessarily have to be light blue and dark blue, but as far as coverage, that will allow you to see which areas of the field that that other combine is harvested and which areas of the field that I have. By doing this um, in combines and planters and sprayers, if you have multiple machines in the field, this allows um, for accurate maps when they come into my John Deere. Now also, um, if you're running two planters or two sprayers in the field, um, his, his work data will show up on your screen. So as you start, if he if he goes and does the in rows on a field, with it, whether he's spraying or planting or harvesting, as I come in there to do that, if I as I come into my in rows, my clutches on my planter will actually shut off, my sprayer will shut off, and my overlap control will kick on on my combine, so it'll make sure that we're not getting doubled up on data. 
So that's very important, especially for seeding and for spraying, because when you're running two, two different machines, we want to make sure that we have them paired up so we're not having overlap. Um, so, so as we uh, show this demonstration, um, we're going to see on our map as he starts to take off what it looks like. So as you can see, our little black dot is moving. Now this does have a little bit of delay to it, um, but that's not uncommon whenever you're sharing. But here in a second, you'll start to see the blue show up on the map that will actually be his data that he is recording. So if I was to go and try and harvest that same spot of that field or plant in that same area that was already been planted, my combine or my screen will know that that area of that field has already been harvested or that area has already been planted. So it'll make sure that it kicks all my overlap controls so it doesn't overlap data as well as it'll shut my clutches off of my planter to make sure that I don't plant seed in two different areas. Now if I was to kick my combine on here for this demonstration, just like this, as I showed you that his is showing up as a light blue, mine would actually show up as a dark blue. So that's how you can tell the difference between the operators. What we see a lot is when people are harvesting beans, particularly, um, what we see is when, when we get maps that come into my John Deere, we'll have a lot of missing data. That's whether um, a, a customer owns one combine and rents a second combine to harvest beans. Uh, what we want to make sure is we, we want to make sure that data comes in correctly. So by, by letting these two machines talk, we'll make sure that we have an even coverage map and we'll make sure that all the data is there, as well as, um, you know, for, for harvesting, it's, it's not as crucial, but uh, especially for planting and for spraying, you might pull into a field and not really know where, where that operator has already been or where the other guy has already been. So, so being able to pull in the field and showing his coverage map allows you to know where you need to start as well as uh, where he's already been so you can make sure that you're not doing the same area that he has been. Now also with infield data sharing, if I close out of this, um, what you also have is you have the ability to share guidance lines. So um, same thing, um, harvesting, um, seeding, spraying. Uh, when you pull in the field and that operator has already set an AB line or he's using the north side of the field line, whatever guidance line he's using, you are able to share that with the other operator. So if a guy pulls in the field and he starts to cut out a land in a field of soybeans, I can pull in there and I can come here. If I scroll over, I can come to my set track now it doesn't show up right now, but if he would have already set a new track, his guidance line would have showed up right here. And I would it would have said operator uh, number two, it would have showed his heading on that line. I would be able to click that line and go ahead and hit accept. So then that way there, I would be on the same heading that he is rather than having to manually type that in. For more information on uh, infield data sharing, please visit uh, sloans.com or call your local dealer.